Hey college fashion, so today I'm going to do a go-to going out look. Why I call it the go-to going out look is this is a look that I want to do when I'm just like going out and I don't and I'm not trying to match my eyes to my you know outfit. It's just a look that you can wear with any outfit. It's a really nice smoky dramatic Kardashian-esque look. And I'm using this um, silent treatment palette from Wet n Wild. It's only $2.99. Has gorgeous pigmented colors in it for such an expensive price. I suggest you guys go check out the Wet n Wild Color Icon eyeshadow palettes. Um, if you guys want more, you know, pigmented looks like this that are extremely inexpensive. I have a few other ones. Um, also from that line, I have, you know, this one is I'm Sunburned. And I have this one, the Blue Had Me at Hello. And this is the 8 um, palette. But... I love these and they're so inexpensive, especially for what you're getting out of them. So, if you guys want to see how to get this look, then just keep on watching. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is prime your eyes with some sort of primer. I already primed my lid with Urban Decay's Primer Potion, so I'm just going to get started. So, the first color I'm using from the palette is the brown color in the middle that is called the Crease Color. And you want to take a contouring brush. And I'm using Elf's contouring brush. It's only $3 from their studio line. And you want to use a brush that's a little bit stiffer to apply this first color just to kind of lay the color down. If you apply it with the blending brush, it's not going to get this harsh, um, kind of deep, smoky look at first. It's just going to be a really blended out dark color. So first things first is you want to take that color and just apply it onto your outer corner, just on the outer V, just like this. You don't want to apply too much color at first because you can always build upon whatever, how, however much color that you apply. So just apply this to your outer corner. Then you want to take a blending brush. And I'm using Sigma's blending brush, E40, just a fluffy blending brush. And go ahead, without adding any color to the blending brush, go ahead and start blending out this color. I know it might, it might seem like a lot of work to like add color, then blend it out, add more color, keep blending it out, but it has an overall better look when you um, just blend out your colors first. Okay, once you have it blending towards your liking, then you want to take a um, thinner brush, and I'm just going to use this smudger brush from Royal and Lang Nickel Brushes, and you want to dip it into that brown color once again and go right on the edge of your eye. This is going to give you that really intense kind of smoky, um, Kardashian-esque look. Then you want to take your blending brush and just go on top of it just to kind of smooth, any, smooth out any lines or anything. Just like that. And I know that this looks very, like I just got punched in the face, but we're about to fix that. So, you want to go into the next color, which is this kind of um, taupey gray eyelid color. Um, I'm actually following the, the procedures of the palette. So you want to take that color and just take that into a flat eyeshadow or yeah, flat eyeshadow brush and apply that to your lid. And these colors are very pigmented so you don't need to pack too much color onto your lid. So you want to put that onto your lid and then take your same blending brush, don't add any more color and just kind of blend that inward just as is. We kind of want to blend the two colors together. You want to take your um, smudger brush once again and go into the eyelid color and go right under it, adjoining the two colors at the bottom. Alright, then the next thing we're going to do is take a um, matte brown eyeshadow. Unfortunately, this palette didn't come with a matte brown eyeshadow, and I always include a matte brown eyeshadow when I'm doing smoky looks, just as a transition to the brow bone. Um, so I'm going to use this matte brown eyeshadow from my Coastal Scents um, 26 color neutral palette. It has just a bunch of neutrals in it, as you can see. It has a ton of neutrals, and I'm just going to take this matte brown eyeshadow. You can find matte brown eyeshadows anywhere. Um, and we're going to take an angled um, fluff brush, which is kind of just like an angled blending brush. And I'm going to take some of that matte brown onto my brush and go ahead and go right over the edge of everything. Just right on top of everything. Kind of blend that together. Take my blending brush with no product on it and just kind of blend that into my eye. 
what this does is just kind of make a nice transition from this harsh darkness to your brow bone color because it's a whole lot lighter. Then you want to take your brow bone color and go ahead and apply that to your brow bone. Go a little bit further in as well. Now if you want to, you can add a little bit of color of the brow bone color onto your inner corner and what that will do is just brighten up your eyes a little bit more. So if you have a little bit of um, closer set eyes or you have like really dark, you know, inset eyes, you may want to do that just so that you can kind of brighten up your eyes a little bit more in the inner corner. Alright, so the next thing we're going to do is go ahead and apply our eyeliner. Apply eyeliner from my last video, the eyeliner um, video. If you guys want a little bit more specifics on how to apply it, eyeliner, refer to that one. I'm just going to go ahead and apply this in a wing style, just like I did on this eye. Alright, the next thing I'm going to do is take a black liquid liner just to kind of amplify the darkness and make it look a little bit more dramatic and go right on top of that liquid line that I just that I just did. Alright, and last but not least for the eyes, I'm going to go ahead and apply Maybelline's Falsies Mascara to just give myself that false lashes look. So I'm actually not going to apply false lashes for this look. You could if you want to, but with my experience with false lashes, if you really like wearing false lashes, I would apply some, but if you don't like wearing false lashes and you're kind of like iffy about it, I wouldn't I wouldn't go ahead and apply them just because you're not going to be comfortable and your eyes are going to feel really heavy like this all night. Even though they're not like that, they're going to feel like they look like that. Alright, so these are the completed eyes. If you guys want to see what I've done for the rest of the look, go ahead and keep on watching. Alright, so for the rest of this look, I didn't want to add too much color to my face because this is so dramatic right here. You don't want to add too much blush or anything like that. And I ha also, I have natural red undertones in my skin. So if I added any more blush to my cheeks or anything, I would look really red. So if you are really pale, what I would suggest is just adding a little bit of bronzer. You know, right, um under your cheekbones just to give yourself a little bit of warmth so you don't look washed out but um, I decided to go against the nude lips and just um, apply a nice pink gloss to my lips um, my natural lip color just so that um, my lips look a little gloss they have like a little bit of uh, like a pink tint but they're not too um, colored or there's like no color so I don't want to look you know washed out again like I just stated um, so yeah, so this is the completed look. If you guys have any questions or comments on any of the products I used, questions or comments on any of the techniques, or questions or comments, period, go ahead and leave them down below, and I'll be sure to answer them for you as soon as I can. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.